The treble clef, bass clef, and landmark notes. In today's episode, you will learn about these two new symbols, the treble clef and the bass clef. Let's start with the treble clef. Here's a stave. Remember, always count from the lowest line or space to the highest. This is a... I know, I know, it's a treble clef. No, not trouble. It's treble. Oh, sorry. Treble clef. <laughs> Good. So, to draw a treble clef, let's start from space 1. Go clockwise up. Make sure the curl touches line 3, like this. Then, continue clockwise and downwards until it reaches line 1. From line 1, we go all the way clockwise up to line 4, like this. Here's where it gets interesting. Like writing an S, make a loop, then slide all the way down below line 1 and end with the J. Well done! Now you have a treble clef. Ooh, and I always thought it was an umbrella. Now, let's look at the bass clef. This is your bass clef. Doesn't it look like an ear? Yes, yes, it does, it does! On line 4, draw a tiny black dot. Go clockwise and touch line 5. Then, go all the way down to space 1 and stop right in the middle of the space. To finish the clef, draw two dots on the right of the ear. One in space 4, one in space 3. There you have it, your bass clef is complete. Ooh, I like the bass clef. It's so pretty. Here, we have the grand safe. Connected by a brace. Yes, Ruby. Did you know the treble clef is also known as the G clef? Notice how the treble clef resembles a letter G and that the treble clef also meets on line 2 the most. When you draw a note on this line, it is a G note. This is what we call a landmark note. So, for treble clef, G is the landmark note. I see it now. Landmark note. The note marks the spot. Do you know where the landmark note for bass clef is? Um. Well, it's here on line 4. I know that. The bass clef, also known as the F clef, meets most on line 4, which makes F the landmark note. In a bass clef, this note will always be F. Okie dokie, artichoke! Landmark notes help you to identify and read notes more comfortably. When you're able to recognize all these clefs and landmark notes, you're one step closer to reading music better. Yeah! I'm gonna be a maestro in no time! You're indeed closer, Ruby. There is another landmark note on the grand stave, shared between line F and line G. Really? This landmark note is the middle C. Middle C would only be valid with a line drawn through the middle of the note. This line is called the ledger line. Okay, treasure line. What? No, Ruby. Ledger line. Ledger line. Yeah! That's right. If you're watching this video and wondering what's a stave, line, or space, check out our previous video here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. You can also click on the notification bell to receive email updates on our latest videos. See you! Ruby will see you soon too!